Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so in this paper, uh, in this video, uh, let me prove the famous, uh, probably not so famous, but the uh, uh, interesting inequality called Bounds inequality. Okay, so the Bounds inequality. Oh, by the way, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. So Bounds inequality basically say that uh, let's say define the Pn to be the nth prime. So P1 is two, P2 is three, P3 is five. Okay, so Bounds inequality uh, show that uh, P1 up to Pn greater than Pn plus one square. I think for n greater or equal to uh, four, okay. So P4 is a uh, seven. So if you check it, you get, uh, let's say you, you choose, you get two, three, five, seven will greater than the P5 is uh, 11, right? it will greater than 11 squared. Okay, so this type of result is, uh, I would call it the elementary number theory, but it's still interesting because uh, this is very, uh, it's very non-trivial to prove like the, the, like the Bertrand's uh, the Bertrand's postulate. So there's a, a, another results, uh, I forgot this Bertrand's, Bertrand's postulate. So Bertrand's positive say that uh, your Pn plus one is less than two Pn. Okay, for every n. So you can check. So this, uh, in, a, in my previous video, I already give the proof for this. And so this, this type of proof uh, can use the, the, the elementary number theory without using the analytic number theory. So you don't need to, you don't need to use the full machinery to, uh, to prove uh, this time six. Okay. <clears throat> So in my video, I want to prove more stronger results. Okay, so our goal, our goal. Uh, so there's a paper that uh, is very interesting called uh, from 30 to 60. It's not, uh, it's not twice as hard. It's not twice as hard. Okay, so this is a paper, I think it's the, the 2000 April. So uh, we will use these techniques to prove the stronger results. So I will prove the stronger one. So stronger is a P1 of Pn greater than Pn plus one, Pn plus two uh, for, uh, for or n greater or equal to four. Okay, so notice that this is a stronger than bounds equality, but, but I will prove this version. Okay, so I will prove it. Okay, so, uh, uh, okay, so let's start. Uh, so the idea is that let's say the idea. So let's see the idea is that uh, you can check that uh, you can check the equality holds for n less than ten. Okay, so let's consider n greater or equal to ten. Okay, and uh, suppose so let's do this. Right, suppose p one up to p n less than p n plus one and p n plus two. Okay, so now this is true, and I consider i to be the floor n divided by two. Okay, and uh, let's say p one up to p i. Okay, so these terms square. This term square, well, less than p1 up to pn, right? Because uh, they're half of this, right? So the p, p1 up to pi is less than this one. And then by construction, this guy is less than pm plus one square. So this p1 up to times up to pn is less than pm plus two square. Okay. So which means that uh, if you take a square root, you take you at p1 up to pi less than pm plus two. Okay. Okay, so now uh, let's consider nt to be the t times p1 up to uh, pi minus, minus one, this is i minus one, where you choose t from one to two up to the pi. Okay, so you, you get n1, n2 up to n pi. Okay. So notice, okay, so that's right, the, prob the, the property of this nt, so property of nt. Okay, so remember, and this divided by t p one up to p i minus one minus one. Okay, so the property of n t is first n t is less than p one up to p i. Okay, so in particular less than p n plus two. This is trivial. You can check by yourself. Okay, so I can define a q t right. So no, notice that the uh, n t is do not div this p one up to p i. It uh except for p i. Each p1 up to pi minus one do not divide nt. Okay, so if I define to qt to be the least, the smallest integer, 
smallest integer divides nt, then the easy to see that the qt greater or equal to pi. Because the first i minus one definitely do not divide nt. So your qt greater or equal to pi, and then less than pm plus one, uh, pm plus two, right? Because this nt is this. Okay. So this is the property one. And the second property that you can uh, observe is that the qt is distinct. Uh, are, uh, are, are, are distinct. Okay, so means that uh, QT do not the same as QT prime, right? If uh, T do not the same as T prime. Okay, so this is simple, right? Because if QT is the same as QT prime, then you get T P1 up to PI minus one equals to T prime, P1 up to PI minus one, which you get a T minus T prime, PI, uh, P1 up to, uh, sorry, I'm stupid, okay, sorry. Uh, so Q, if QT is is the same as QD prime. Let's say if QD is the same as QD prime, that means what? That means that uh, both of them divides NT, right? So that means Q, let's say this is Q, right? So this Q divides N my NT minus NT prime, which means Q divides T minus T prime at the P1 up to PI minus one. Okay. But this Q do not divide any of them. This is what we gonna what we show, right? So Q must divide T minus D prime. But but remember that your T is that's all equal to P I and uh, greater or equal to one. So T minus T prime must be less than P I, right? So which is impossible because P I P I is the the next prime that uh, greater than uh, next prime. Well, with i minus one, right? So, but uh, now q divides this. So you, so this is contradiction the definition of pi. Okay, so it means these qt are distinct. Okay, so now we get now we get the number of so we we, we have the we have the number of nt is pi, and the number of q we we don't know right, but we have shown that they are distinct. So number of q must greater or equal to the number of nt. Okay, so. The number of nt is that so equal to the number of q. Okay. So which means that uh, which means what? So the, what is the number of nt? So the number of nt is uh is the pi. This is our definition. Right? So pi. Uh, pi less than the. Uh, less than q. Right? Let's say this is the number of the different the number of qt. And uh, this is great less than pm plus two. This is uh, what we already, already already say. Okay. Okay. So therefore, what? So therefore. Okay. So what? Well, well, therefore, we have proved that pi less than what? Less than the. Uh, so this is pm plus two, right? And the q. Okay. Uh. Uh, this, uh, let me say this. So this number of nt is less than the number of q, right? Number of q is uh, the number of, uh, let's say this is the number of q. This number of q is the, the, the primes. And so this is the prime, this is the number of the prime greater than, greater than, okay. That, okay. So, that, so let me just write this. So what we have shown is that uh, so there at there at there at least there should be q primes. There at least should be the number of there at least should be at least should be q primes which greater than p uh, greater or equal to p of i. Okay. So what we have shown is that the the number of nt uh, which is p of i is definitely less or equal to the number of the primes greater than uh, p of i. Okay. So. This is the number of primes. Let's say this is the number of prime such that uh, Q, let's say, go to PI, PM plus two, right? So you take all the, for each prime Q, which greater or equal to PI less than PM plus two, this PI must be less or equal to the number of it. Okay. So you get PI less or equal to so now how many of them? Let's say everything is prime, right? So you get this pi 
uh, less or equal to n plus two minus i. Okay, because you get um, you get you start from i and go to n plus two. Okay, so you get a very strange equation. You get a pi less or equal to n plus two minus n choose two. Okay, so which you you get some strange equation look like this. Okay, so it's really weird. Okay, so you can check. Uh, you can check, for example, if n is 10, you get p of five, that's equal to uh, seven minus five divided by two. Okay, so this is nonsense, right? Because p of five is 11, right? So that means this equation is false for, uh, for n greater or equal to 10. Okay, so it means that our original assumption is not true. Our original assumption of this our original assumption of this is not true. Okay, so we prove that uh, this bounce inequality holds for, so we prove, we just prove, we just uh, prove. N greater equal to 10 is, is uh, this theorem works for N greater equal to 10 is true. Okay, so the rest is just check. So check, check for N less or equal to, uh, greater equal to 4 and less than 10. So this is just check one by one. Okay, so this is a proof. Uh, yeah, so the final, uh, the final key step uh, is, uh, is, is this. So yeah, hopefully uh, you didn't, you understand what I'm saying, right? The number of different NT by definition is a PI is less or equal to the number of a price, which the number of price squares is equal to PI less than PM plus one, right? Because this is what we have shown. So, and the number of the price falls into this region is at, at, at most M plus one minus I, right? So in particular, PI must be equal to must less equal to m plus one minus i. Okay, so this is the very this is a very weak form. Okay, so once once one can use this to to de deduce the results. Okay, so uh, we prove the stronger version. So uh, so basically uh, and the, uh, basically you uh, this is a proof. And uh, more interesting that uh, you can try to generalize it, right? So you can if you go back to that paper, that uh, you can also prove something like this. Some power, right? This is the and the force and greater equal to something. So this type of uh, uh there are many other uh, this type of inequality that you can check, but the idea of the proof basically is exactly the same as this. Uh, okay, hope you guys enjoyed my channel. See you guys next videos.